What's up guys, Matt here with Matco Metalworks and um, well, I got a little something for you different today but it really kind of goes along with the business. Um, we actually did a, a bunch of work here doing the RTU frames which are the rooftop units uh, on these commercial buildings. This is, I'm gonna say it's 300,000 square feet. That's about the average size that this, this contractor that we work for, um, that's what size they do, 250, 200 to 400. Um, so I'm gonna say it's 300 but it's, it's massive. And um, so we do normally, if you can see behind me, we did not do these. Uh, we were tied up on another project and couldn't, couldn't get to it, but normally we do all the entrance platforms, bollards, uh, stuff like that. But we did, the, we did do the RTU frames. I think there was, um, excuse me, uh, <coughs> I think there was about 11 rooftop units, uh, something like that, nine or 10. Um, so we had to, to, to build angle iron frames out of three by five by three eighths angle and um, support the roof where they cut the opening for all the duct work and that stuff. So we did do that here, uh, that's been a couple months, but now they've run into a problem. The contractor finished the job, cleared or epoxied the floor and sealed it, but they didn't put the line striping down. So the problem is, I think they do make a paint that you can put on top of that, um, but that's not the route they were able to go. So they had to do a little something different. So they have to blast four inch strips in order to paint these yellow lines because there's a massive amount of them, approximately five miles of lines that were supposed to go down, then epoxy the floor on top of it so it's all sealed. But uh, that didn't happen. Mistakes in uh, commercial and industrial will cost you. They're very expensive. This is a huge mistake. Um, just kind of got overlooked. Rushing to get stuff done, it happens. Uh, every job's gonna have it, we've done it. Uh, contractors have done it to us. It's going to happen. It's just the way commercial industrial stuff works. So uh, let's go inside and check it out and see what they got going on. different but this is uh, our little part of it these are some jigs we made in order to accomplish that so you've got quarter by three flat bar with a four inch gap in the middle they're ten foot long we just took some random whatever we had just to make them he was in our huge rush uh, this job is uh, way behind because this uh, basically should have been uh, actually shouldn't have had to happen because the concrete was actually sealed prior to getting these lines on so what they're doing is they're having to go back and sandblast so this is nice and smooth this is epoxy cleared and then this here is where they're blasting and what allows them to do that is those little jigs and these massive blasting units so what they're having to do, because 
unfortunately the contractor sealed this floor before all these lines were painted they're having to blast i think it was approximately five miles five miles of four inch strips total in this plant now this is probably i don't know 300,000 square feet or more um that's usually what this uh the company that we do this work for i'm not doing this blasting but we actually did a lot of metal work in here uh we work for the same contractor uh my buddy here sandy is doing all this blasting with his company and uh so what they're doing they had to go through somebody else laid these out they lay out all these lines bring the jigs along that matco made and um blast them that's it they're uh, just wrapping up today they've got to go from here over to that van they've got about 200 feet left and they'll be done they um the the, the company is wanting to get moved in and so they had to uh, go find a second blasting machine so they've got this one here and then they've got another unit over on the uh, gooseneck over there so they've been running two running two shifts uh, first and second shift in order to get all this done and um they're coming right behind them you see over here uh these lines are done they're cleaning them up edging them pulling the tape up and uh they're actually going to be probably done painting right behind the blasting so moving pretty quick because they're ready to uh, as you can see half of the the um the plants got pallet racking in it already so they're ready to move in so they're uh needing these lines in place
get these jigs. They got somewhere to line them up. Oh. 